Hey everybody and welcome back. I love, like you, watching YouTube and I saw this film. Were there actually updates in physics, maybe mid-century, that were not disclosed to the public? Well, I mean, it quieted down because nobody ever got anywhere. Or it quieted down because they did get somewhere and it went black. It was absolutely brilliant. So, my role in the Randleson Forest team with John Burroughs, James Warrow and Race Hobbs is very much looking at the history of physics because that's my background, that's what I've done professionally and that's what really interests me. But what Eric Weinstein said on Jesse's film with Hal Pushoff was mind-blowing and so brilliant. Listen to this. Certainly aerospace corporations have knowledge in the UAP area that specifically are sequestered by against FOIA oh, because of proprietary I appreciate labels, that. which the whole thing was set up to be that way on purpose. Right, but the idea that there would be fundamental physics knowledge that would be housed in an aerospace company and not shared with the physics community, there is no evidence of that. No evidence for it, not, not that I know of. And I wouldn't that, that doesn't mean it's not the case, but... That would be this crazy, egregious It, it would change thing. our entire concept of who we are if somebody had kept fundamental physics secret in the years since we became capable of exploding fusion devices. That simple and direct statement about physics going dark in the 1950s, possibly, really resonated with me. So I'm going to explore that for you. Let me explain why it is potentially so important. First of all, Rendlesham Forest, 1980s, quite a while ago, but Rendlesham Forest is the key to understanding UAP because they effed up. John Burroughs was injured and he is still alive, encoded inside his body is the remnants of what he was exposed to. The military are very aware of that, and in some ways John's a threat to them, because his DNA, his heart problems, and the other problems he received by standing too close to the highly strange in Randleton Forest, is the clue to what he was standing too close to. And for me, that really opens a door. Because either John was exposed to an alien UFO, or he was exposed to an unusual force of nature, or he was exposed to a piece of military technology. The clue is inside him. We can get the answers to UFOs, strange forces of nature, or possibly a man-made weaponization of a very exotic physics by studying John. And so, if we understand the physics that I think Eric Weinstein is correct in saying is hidden from us for the first time in history, we as members of the public are being kept in the dark, maybe for a very interesting reason. Maybe physics is no longer public and defense contractors are hiding advances in propulsion systems. I mean, the classic thing would be a way of defeating gravity, if that's possible, or time travel, or other weird stuff. Time dilation, even faster than light travel, or wormholes, or really advanced stuff isn't really being studied at university level anymore. It seems to be inside the Raytheons, the Boeings, the Lockheed Martins, the Marconi, the BAE system contractors, because they're hiding it from freedom of information. And I think the big advances of physics aren't in the public domain anymore. And it is just possible that out there are extremely strange things that aren't necessarily weaponizations, but they could explain UAP. 
They could explain exotic physics of natural phenomenon, or they could explain weapon systems. And I think that just might be possibly what's going on. What do you think? The first branch of the decision tree is, is it stuff that is unintentionally in the air versus stuff that is intentionally in the air? The unintentional stuff was broken into two categories, and that was clutter and atmospheric effects. The stuff that is intentionally in the air was broken into the next branch, which was us, not us. Not us was broken into two things, known others and unknown others. And that other is intentionally in the air, not us, not anyone we know. Not necessarily aliens, could be coming out of the ocean, could be time travel, I mean, who the hell knows? But anything in that other category is astonishing. So this is just an introduction. And I really encourage you to go watch Jesse's film with Hal and Eric. The link is in the description because it touches on such a really interesting big points. And I'm going to follow up on this. Has physics gone dark? If we, members of the public, understood modern, contemporary, post-quantum physics, would UAP suddenly make sense if we understood the physics? And is that physics being hidden? Is it no longer in academic institutions, but protected against freedom of information, possibly for national security, but also for commercial gain behind the private privileges of defense contractors? What a good question. And I'm going to answer it for you. Stay tuned because the truth really is out there.